Hey there, it's Jonas. I'm the founder and creator of Das Element. And today I'm proud to announce that there is a new version release. I'm so excited about the latest new features and, well, I just wanted to show you what has been added. With version 1.2, you can now add elements to the shopping cart. The collected elements can then be imported into any other software. To improve working as a team, the latest release introduces the collections. Supervisors and team leads now have the option to pre-select elements and save these in a collection that can be shared with the rest of the team. Each user also has the option to create personal favorites. The collections can be made global with just a few clicks. A new media type is introduced for panoramic images and HDR spheres. The new sphere viewer allows you to navigate in your HDR spheres to get a better understanding how it will look like in your 3D scene or the matte painting. There is now an API that supports both Python 2 and 3. This allows you to be even more flexible when integrating this element into your workflows. The API comes with a documentation as well as example scripts that you can use. Various improvements have been made to the UI, like the new filter that allows you to get all elements that were ingested on a specific day. Project files can now be opened up directly from within the software. This will speed up the process of working with templates. A library configuration can now be locked to prevent editing and ingesting of new elements. This feature is very useful if you want to share libraries between multiple facilities and to avoid making changes to the main library. The multi-selection of elements has been improved. A status bar has been added in the top right corner. It shows the system utilization as well as the jobs in the render queue when ingesting elements or re-rendering transcoding templates. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.